way how he like, introduced me is that uh, I'm, I'm excellent for delivering bad news in advance. <laughs> so, you know, he has this movie, uh, Travelers for uh, uh, Disasters, that people don't know even beforehand where disasters will happen and would like to travel there. Um, and actually, if you want to know something bad happening in two weeks from now, according to the game, I, you have to consult me. Uh, uh, to not only to get a priority of corrupt behavior, of uh, some kind of kleptocratic regime, but they went there because they believe in Western values. And people, and the West, that's why this is what makes America so special. If people are willing to stand up and fight and die for these values, these values matter, and these values make this, America, this country, America, so special. Well, if America gives up these values for some pragmatic or other reasons, it's not no longer going to be the same country. Crisis under Clinton, my strong resolve really made the loss of and we also know that later it was demonstrated more difficult than it became for the United States, but also for the world, and also it, was, uh, it caused lots of casualties on the ground and lots of problems on the ground. So, you know, we can talk about it now and do it now, or uh, I might be standing in front of you six months from now and we'll still have, have we'll be having the same conversation, and then there will be much more partisan to think, yeah, yeah, we should do it better do it now. And this is exactly, also, uh, by the way, it's also resonates with Putin thinking. Because Putin thinks that if now Ukraine succeeds, if Ukraine can implement at least part of the measures not to have corruption or, you know, like, you know, the problem is that for Putin, what's Putin's soft power? Not really like traditional soft power, like what you imagine, like economy or, uh, you know, reaching out into culture or something. Putin's uh, power is corruption, organized crime. You have, for instance, like, to, as an example, police in these occupied regions now, basically, like, in Eastern Ukraine, police either is totally inactive or on Russian side. The most anti-American force in Ukraine, in general, is a very pro-American nation. All over Ukraine, the most anti-American force is police. I hear it from all sides, from my friends. They say things like,